Presenting our national officials of this match, first referee, Mr. Patrick Alan Castillo. Second referee, Mr. Fernando Velarde. Introducing the starting lineup for Farm Fresh Foxies. Let's call on their team captain, number seven, Louis Romero. Wearing jersey number five, Eliza Bertolano. At number 10, Chini Arroyo. Number 12, Trisha Tubu. Jersey number 13, April Tagsip. Number 16, Riza Cruz. Starting libero is number 17, Janelle Delario. With our head coach, Mr. Jerry Yi. Now, calling on the starters for the Cherry Tigo crossovers. Starting off with our team captain, number two, Abigail Marano. Wearing jersey number four, Jasmine Nabor. At number seven, Mylene Paat. Wearing jersey number eight, Aya Laure. At number 10, Ara Galan. Jersey number 22, Pongai Gaston. At 24 is their starting libero, Budin Duremdes. Head coach is Emilio Kung Fu Reyes Jr. This match is under the regulation and supervision of the Games and Amusement Board. Good luck to both teams. Starters for the Foxies. Trisha Tubu coming off a 10-point performance. Special mention, Chini Arroyo with 9 points. Second leading scorer for the team there. Gonna want to score a lot more, especially against this very offensive-minded crossovers. Uh, led in scoring the last time by Aragalan, we mentioned. Ea Laure and Mylene Paat, uh, the top three are there. So, um, tough job for the defense of the Foxies. And uh, in the first set, there's Trisha Romero, the team captain and uh, starting setter, formerly from Adamson. Mylene Paat, and formerly from Adamson as well. Good uh, matchup we have today. Definitely. Chini Arroyo on your screens. Formerly from NU. All right, so these two teams, one is two and one, the other is one and two. So a win here by the Foxies will tie them in the standings. And uh, we know, again, we know that uh, for most these teams, maraming tied ngayon eh, in yeah. terms of uh, team standing. So a win today would really matter a lot yep. for uh, Farm Fresh Foxies. And they've only won one game so far in the tournament uh, that was against uh, Capital One. That was a three-set win. Chini Arroyo puts the Foxies on the board first. Doremdes with a pass. Nabor. And it's going to be crucial. The fingers of Nabor. I mean, how she, we men she mentioned, um, uh, Lexi said 90%, right? Is 90% good enough to lead the team offensively? That's a big question. And uh, that's something that we're anticipating, but so far yeah. it's been uh, good. But I guess the 90%, she's not saying it, it's 100%, but yep. she also wouldn't go back if she knows that it will uh, jeopardize the yeah. place. So uh, we'll await what will happen today. Aragalang cut shot. Picked up by Bertolano. Bertolano gets it back. Oh, good defense in the back row twice already. Good digs coming from Ea Laure. And this time, Aragalang misses the mark. Let's uh, check in courtside with Lexi Rodriguez reporting for the Foxies. Well, Ann and Eric, earlier we talked about one of the most underrated players in the Farm Press Foxies, and that is Janelle Delario, who has been showing what she's capable of in terms of reception. Now, if you guys remember correctly, Janelle Delario was batchmates with Aya Laura back in Season 85 and was actually under Co Coach Kung Fu back in her UAAP. So there's a bit of a reunion happening right now, but just on the different sides of the net. Well, Janelle actually told me that she's excited, but she's really nervous that she's going up against her former teammates, but she just looks forward to doing Doing the best she can. Now, more than her former teammates, she's also really looking forward to facing her libero matchmate, Jen Nerva. Now, I know you guys are looking forward to watching this game, and you can watch all PVL games live and in HD on the Filipinas Live app anytime and anywhere in the world. Now, let's check in in this challenge. All right, so uh, a hit again by Aragala goes long, and this time the coaching staff of uh, first year 
uh, first conference head coach Koa Kukfureyas will challenge this and hopefully Galang hello, or gets hello, a block touch. Hello, it's not a hello, 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 hello. And there doesn't look like there was any. Seemed like uh, the ball really was sailing out. Mm -hmm. So that's two errors already for Gala. Two attempts on the left side of the net. A good start here for the Foxies, not by their own doing. I mean, they're getting three points here from the crossovers. Good serve by Taksim. A swing pot around to the middle, and that'll be the first attack point for the crossovers here in the opening set. That's going to be the problem for the Foxies. I mean, they move these girls around. Yeah, you're talking about Ea Laure, Maylin Paad, Aragalang. There's Abi Maraño, the running. She was saying earlier, if she can still do that, you know, and that's something the defense on the Foxies will have to adjust. Romero, top set, off speed from Trisha Tubu. There's a net touch going to be called against Maraño. You know, definitely a lot of material for offense here in the front line for Cherry Tigo at the moment. But these errors, most definitely Farm Fresh should capitalize on them. A lot of giveaway points. Aragalang. Oh, what a dig. And that is in for Abi Maraño. Wow. showing us she still has the hops at 30 years old. Two-time UAAP MVP. May ibubuga pa. May ibubuga pa. Paad with a nice serve. Underhand pass. Uh, Bertolano off speed. Excellent shot, but good defense by Aragala. There's a nice block in the middle. Oh. From Bruce in. Caught napping Maraño and uh, Budin Dorebdes. This is also something that uh, Lexi reported earlier. It's Nabor's first game yeah, yeah. today, so the connection with uh, with the new uh, the new addition in the team, yun yung uh, kailangan kapaer. And I, I guess this is where uh, they'll take it uh, day by day. That's right. Lazo pops it up. Arroyo and hey, Laure. I mean, I can't under overstate <laughs> what she's doing in the back row. All this digging and Arroyo oh. punches that one through. Aragalang with a push. Good save by both Tubu and Romero. Chance ball here for the crossovers. Aragalang. Cut shot. Oh. Got it. <laughs> Finally, Aragalang with her first attack point of the match. It's been a slow start, yeah. but we're seeing very good progression with uh, how she delivers. But also credit to the good defense that we're seeing. That's right. You did mention uh, Ea Laure, and we know that apart from uh, being a good attacker, she's also very solid in the back row. Sometimes even plays the setter position. That's right. 12 digs, 11 receptions. She practically had a triple-double in that loss against the Flying Titans. Risha Tupu getting the side out. Foxy's on top by two. Nabor. There's another running attack for Maraño. Arroyo. Aragalan pops it up. Here's Ayalara. She's in front. A nice dive by Cruz. Oh, and excellent effort. Bertolano keeping it alive. Chance ball again for the crossovers. Nabor to Maraño. Trisha Tubu. Another chance ball for the crossovers. Can they capitalize on this? Paat Tubu, great position for the defensive shot. And excellent point by the Foxy, showing us great defense on the floor. And, and you know, presence of mind as well in uh, putting that ball over on second touch. Nobody was expecting it. No adjustment either on the defense of Cherry Tigo. Louis Romero with a nice shot. Getting her first point of the game. 7-4. Good pass. Nabor to Laure. Yes! First attack point for Ea Laure. It's a two-point game. Under 
underhand pass from Romero. That's a little low for Taksip. She got away, pushing it across the net. Laure again. Ooh, back-to-back -back points. Eh, yeah, Laure. Cherry Tigo really working. Get out one point at a time. Please tie it with Farm Fresh Foxy. And that's the danger if you're the Foxies and Aura is in front. She is such a lethal offensive player. Romero, the back set. Ooh, a little confusion there. Tagsip sent it over underhand. Gaston punches it through the double block. And just like that, the lead of the Foxies and is gone. We talked about having a lot of material here for Cherry Tigo. And you see Nabor just really utilizing all of her front liners. Boxy's led by as many as three points. They're looking for a side out here. Trisha Dubu catches the line. From the back, Dubu delivers. Second point for Trisha Dubu. That sets the Boxy's on top by one. First technical timeout, opening set. Back inside the Bill Oil Echo Oil Center in San Juan Arena Plus, a stick. So sports, uh, the Foxy's fans should be happy after the crossovers made a, a three-point run to tie the game. Trisha Dubu, her second point, puts them back on top by 1-8-7. Both teams coming off a loss, but the Foxy's only one win so far in this very early off Filipino conference. Meantime, uh, in the beginning, Seemed like the crossovers were gonna roar to a good start winning their first two games, but then they drop a three-setter and make that a four-setter against the Flying Titans. Uh, not a good pass there from Galang. Back row for Paat. Good anticipation on the dig coming from Romero. Trisha Dubu, off speed, got it. Back to back points for Dubu. Great read on the defense of Sherry Digo. Look at that uh, change. In mid-air for Dubu. You mentioned this Dubu has scored in double digits in all three games, so the Foxies. Hello, one to play! And Jasmine Nabor showing us, I'm 99% now. Not 90, uh, <laughs> 99, but you know, great court presence, court, uh, presence of mind, good court sense for Nabor. Actually, both setters no, yeah. from uh, both teams, uh, nagpapakita rin talaga today how. Uh, Smart they are. Oh, and there's a Dubu right now from all angles, and she is hurting the crossovers. This is what we expect from her. We did mention double digit, but in their last game, ano, mababa yung uh, yeah. conversion niya. So I think today, she is looking to redeem herself. And great game plan by Coach Jerry Yi to move her around. Ea Laura with an off-speed hit. That angle was changed because of the block touch. So Ea Laura, three points, top scoring for the crossovers. Ea Laura, she is celebrating her birthday this month, March 24. Oh, sorry, March 21, she's turning 24. Nice serve, bad pass. Bertolano trying to save it. It's gonna be an underhand pass to the crossovers. Nabor. They go to Aragala and they want to get her going. Great pick up there by Guilherio. Nabor, back set, Paat, got it. Excellent target there by Paat going down the line. Very action packed. Opening set. 
Yeah, great job running the offense there. I mean, the help Walker was late, allowing Miley Bond a great look on the down the line hit. That all. This is a three to one run in favor of the crossovers. Got on, rejected. Great block by Dubu. Bond again, down the line, got it again. Same target, same angle, no adjustment on the defense of the Foxies. And ladies and gentlemen, because of that shot, we have a lead change for the first time in the set. The crossovers are on top by one. Better pass, Romero goes all the way out to Bertolano. She's blocked. Uh, good help defense there coming from uh, Taxi. The board goes to Galang. Got it. You gotta love how accurate all the hits are coming from the side of Cherry Eagle. This is a 4 to 0 run now in favor of crossovers. They lead by two, their biggest lead of the set. And substitution for Coach Jerry as Kate Santiago is in for the first time. Santiago only seven points in their last game. She scored 11 in their first game, but she has not scored in double digits since then. Taxit rejected coverage there, coming from Romero. Trisha Dubu. Woo! She was above the double. Definitely delivering here for the Foxies. Five points already. She only had 10 in the three set loss against the Chargers. So. We're just halfway through the opening set. I know. Actually, the 10 isn't even bad at yeah, all. The exactly. bio double digits. We're just seeing the conversion. That's he had right. a lot of attempts. But today, you're right. I mean, very efficient uh, performance we're seeing from Tubu so far. Uh, Arroyo with the pass. Uh, Santiago with her first hit of the set. Aragalang. Good coverage again. Louis Romero over Pasto. Romero sets it up. Finish Tubu. Why not? Within Dorendez with a dig, fighting bad, skying high, oh. and hitting it outside. It hit the net. Changed the direction because of the net, but she, you knew she was targeting that area. Walang tao on the side of the Foxies. Big smile on the face of Mylene Bad. She knew she had it. Just the net. Sabi niya, net na to. So 12 all. Kyle Tagsip, only one point. In that loss against the Flying Titans. Gaston popped up by Romero. Arroyo will save it. Another chance ball here for the crossovers. Baat off the block. And she gets her fourth point of the game. Also one of those players who scored in double digits in all three games of the crossovers. Romero, combination play, Santiago, and again, who's in the back row, and it's Ayalare with the dig that just lands on the line. Great block. And this is uh, what the Foxies need at the moment. Lethal attackers on the other side, they really need to tighten their blocking to help out their defense at the back. 13 all. That's the first block, by the way, for the Foxies. That's coming from Santiago. No blocks yet for the crossovers. Laure pops it up for Galang. Galang with a push. Easy pick up there for Tubu. Santiago powers that one through. Kate Santiago with her second point of the game. Good uh, change of uh, players here for the Foxies. And Coach Kung Fu will call his first timeout as uh, Foxies on top by one. Good news, mga kapatid. 
Napapanood na rin tayo sa pinakabagong Free to Air Channel na talaga namang para sa Pinoy, ang RPTV. Tutok na sa Analog TV Channel 9, DTT Channel 119, at 183 sa higit 300 cable at satellite providers nationwide at sa Signal Play. One point lead for the Foxies. Paat. And that is outside. Paat with her second attack fault. Avoiding the blockers from Farm Fresh. So I think it works. You know, we, we did see earlier there was a block. Yeah. So they are a threat at the net. Galang. Great adjustment, but a good save again by the floor defense of the Foxies. Ara Galang tries again. This time, gets it with a strong hit. Third point for Galang. Expected nothing less from both course, these teams going course. into today's game. Again, both teams coming from a loss, wanting to bounce back. And substitution here for the crossovers. Shaya Adorador checking in for the first time. And along with Alina Bikar. Adorador, two points against the Flying Titans. Meanwhile, Alina Bikar. Also came off. No, she started in the first set against the Flying Titans. Today, she's coming off the bench. Oh, what a back set. Lisa Cruz got it. Well executed play for Cruz. And that sends us to our second technical timeout. Two point lead. The Foxies over the crossovers. Opening set. Both teams coming off a loss. Foxies looking for their second win. Crossovers looking for their third win. The master Shimizu, Hideo Suzuki, uh, two consultants uh, helping out Coach Jerry Yi for the Farm Fresh Foxies. Two point lead for the Foxies. Underhand pass, Alina Bikar. Shaya Adorador overhits the mark on her first attack. Oh, back to the biggest lead of the Foxies at three points. Kate Santiago off the bench. Two points. Shaya Adorador. Yes. Finally gets a point. Out of Leon Iluilo, Shaya Adorador. Makes it a two-point game. Aragana. Three-time UAAP champion with the Lady Spikers of DLSU. Arroyo. Rudin Remdes with coverage. Hey, Laure. You can tell by the way she went up. She she wanted that attack point really bad. With a facial expression. Yeah, that is exactly. uh, you know, very typical of Ea Laure. <laughs> but this is a strong front line right now for yep. uh, Cherry Tigo. Yeah, it's a two-point run for the crossovers. They are within one. A push there by Riza Cruz. Uding Duremdes will set it up. Shaya on the other side. Trisha Tubu popping it up. Arroyo. <laughs> Excellent flow of the offense here for the Foxies. A running attack, Riza Cruz. And right now, all the crossovers can do is defend. Shaya Adorador. 
through the double block. Another great defensive play, but oh. they fall short of one shot. And Adorador just really making sure that she locks that point in. They had two touches. Nobody there for the third touch. And Adorador with the dump, her second point in the game. Seventeen all. This is a three-point run now for the crossovers. Back row. Oh, Trisha Tubu. Pancake saved by Bikar. And Laura rises and scores. Crossovers on top by one. Look at the joy with the Bikar celebration. If not for, the, for that pancake dive, they wouldn't have gotten that point. Spike of the set brought to you by Duncan. Masalubong ng Bayan. Five points already for Ea Laura. The stars have come out to play. Trisha Tubu. On the other side, already with six, and Laura with five. Underhand pass, Romero, back row, Trisha Tubu. Oh, Puding Duremdes, excellent dig. There's a block against Marano, Marano tries again, battle at the net, Trisha Cruz winning the play. Foxy is giving it a really good fight. So far, we haven't seen any team really pull away so far. Right. Nahabol, napapantayan. Foxy's led by as much as three, while the crossover is led by two. Substitution, Bertolano coming back, Santiago will sit down. Riza Cruz with a couple of points already. Oh, exciting finish to this opening set. Nice serve, but Budin Duremdes with a great receive. Aragal, I make that Maraño with a hit. Arroyo. Great dig, but it is an overpass. One two play by Romero, picked up by Duremdes. Laura rises. Oh. That's going to be four touches against the crossovers. Hit the tape of the net on that last attempt of Laura. So the Foxy's on top by one. 7 7 errors already and for the crossovers uh, none for the foxies yet and uh, you know just thinking about it a lot of giveaway points yeah. we've seen that though not at the start of this set right arroyo wow what a shot that was a broken play and she still got it through the double block was set very important not to be choosy <laughs> <laughs> when you get sets make the most out of it and Coach Kufure is calling his final timeout now, and they're down by two. We'll listen in. Create, <laughs> Uh, thanks for joining us on One Sports, also on One Sports Plus and Filipinas Live. Uh, you just caught the tail end of uh, Coach Kung Fu's uh, lecture. Uh, crossovers struggling. Uh, they've given up two points. Uh, well. That's not taking away from the Foxies because they've been playing so good as well, right? Yes, and the fact that you did mention no errors so far. I mean, you know, these errors on the side of Cherry Tigo would be, they'd be more than welcome to take it. Right. There's a block against Maragno. And Laure. Oh, there's a nice push by Chini Arroyo. Adorador uh, overhits the mark. No check. It's these errors. Yeah. Is that error number eight already for the crossovers? 4 0 run here for the Foxies, and it's back to their biggest lead at three points. Lisa Cruz, Arroyo, they've been playing so well. That's a little low for Laure. Arroyo, oh, this one into the net. Now, first error for the Foxies in the first set. Coming late in the opening set, and already at 21-18, that's when they yeah. commit the error. But uh, I think for this match, you know, we've seen how they can really convert points. Yeah. So the more they do that, the more they could probably.
take the lead against Cherry Pigu. Chance ball, the first one in the set for the cross uh, for the Foxies. Trish and Tubu back to back attack errors for the Foxies. And, and this is what we wouldn't want to see. Baka parang sunud sunud na to, no? Nag umpisa sunud sunud. Uh, hopefully they can recover quickly. We see Coach Jerry already at the sidelines. So a two-point run for the crossovers because of errors by the Foxies. Arroyo, what a dig there coming from Maraño. Back row, Galang, off speed, easy pickup for Delerio. Arroyo again. Oh, yes, GV Arroyo, look out, three points already. Good recovery from her previous errors. And this is what you would like to see. Yeah. Really taking matters into your own hands. Hindi ka maghihintay ng errors sa kalaban. You really earn those points. So that stops the two-point run on the crossovers. Back to a two-point lead for the Foxies. That hit is outside Shaya Adorador. But there is a net touch going to be called against the Foxies. So crossovers get a, a little break there, Anne. She is lucky yeah. because she's been having a... A difficult time getting those points in. But Adorador and Bikar uh, will sit down. Nabor and Paat are back in. Full front line here as uh, you look at and you go Hideo Suzuki in the middle, Master Shimizu on the left side. Hideo Suzuki, the coach of Kurashiki Ablaze, if you guys remember. Uh, last year, the Invitational Conference. And there they are. There's Suzuki in the middle. Uh, leftmost is Master Shimizu. They joined the Foxies just this year. All right, the, sub the substitution was uh, not locked in properly, so they're going to redo it. So again, yeah, these, this full front line for the crossover is going to be scary if you're the Farm Fresh Foxies, Paat. Gaston and E. Laure are right there. This rotation was what worked for them earlier. Yep. Gave them a good run. And it's just a one-point lead for the Foxes. So there's a yellow card against the Foxes. They say the libero? We'll, we'll try to sort that out. It seems like the delay was because of the substitution by the crossovers, but nevertheless, uh, no full penalties yet. Served by Nabor. Delerio with a pass. Romero, back set. And Nabor with a dig. Brendes sets it up for Pat. Delerio passing. Gaston with a nice save. There's a Dubu rising and pushing, scoring as well. Back to a two-point lead for the Foxies. And you know in that last play, they were going to give it to Dubu. And she just simply put it away with that, uh, wiping it off the hands of the blockers. There's a Dubu now with seven. What a first set. With that uh, goal, of course, to win this match, but uh, sure. more than that, Bumawi talaga yeah. from uh, her last match, last game. Oh. Hey, Laure. And now the leading scorer with six points for the crossovers. <laughs> and that little runway turn after the shot as well. Not smiling anymore, she means business. <laughs> well, they're down, they were down by two, now it's a one point game. 22 serving 23. Uh, there's the numbers we mentioned. Six points off from attacks. Romero goes back to Tubu. Why not? She has the hot hand. Oh, two set points for the Foxies. Eight points for Tubu. Golden touch. Everything she touches so far <laughs> converted into points. What a game for Trisha Tubu. Just 22 years old. So talented, so explosive. So smart. Uh, hey, for the first time ever this season, April Tapia is in the game for the first time. Uh, just recruited in the offseason by the Foxies. Their first appearance in the PVL and All Filipino Conference. Romero 
Goes to Tubu, why not? Tapia with coverage. Tubu tries again with the left hand. Oh, and the take by Tubu goes awry. And one set point lost by the Foxies. And it is expected that she will be marked. Yep. We, we uh, know that uh, she will be the go-to in the front row. In the meantime, substitution uh, for the crossovers as uh, Robles in the game for the first time. Cesc Robles coming off a one-point performance in the loss against the Flying Titans. Big serve. No aces yet for the crossovers. Bertolano with the pass. Dubu, why not? Oh. Trisha Dubu wins the set. Nine points, Trisha Dubu in one set alone. That's uh, almost yeah. the same as what she's done in their previous match at 10 points. That's right. Trisha Dubu has the hot hand here in the opening set. And Romero went to her and she delivered. Wasted one set point, but closed it out for a two-point win in the opening set. And she did it in a variety of ways to end, right? And that's what is impressive. You see that she really is a thinking attacker, right. varying her uh, offense. Now, official score of the opening set, 25-23 in favor of the Foxies against the crossovers. It's a two-point win for the Foxies against the crossovers in the opening set. You know, despite the fact that Cherry Tigu scored more when it comes to offense, 18 as opposed to only 14 of uh, the Foxies, yung dami ng errors nila, nine errors in that last set, really um, made them lose uh, that set to, to the Foxies. But not to take away anything from, from uh, these uh, ladies in white, dahil maganda rin talaga yung naipakita nila. And... 
they pick up where they left off. Service ace for Luby Romero. Targeting Ara Galang that time. Let's see if Romero goes back to Galang. Who had a miss receive. First on the board, Foxy's 1-0. Yeah, they go back to Gala. Almost an overpass. Nabor taking care of that with a, an option play. This is 90%. <laughs> <laughs> Two points already for Nabor in her first game back. For the crossovers. And service fall for Jasmine Nabor. There's Coach Kufureyes taking over from uh, Aaron Velez, who is now the team manager. Uh, Aaron Velez still on the sidelines for the crossovers. Chini Arroyo with the serve. Nabor, the back set. Uh, Laure block. The terrific defense. Bertolano. Taksip is credited for the block. Her first point of the, of the match. Laure was well read that attempt. Another good start here for the Foxies. They're up 3-1. Cheyenne with an off-speed, easy pickup for Romero. There's a Dubu over, hits the mark. She uh, knew it, apologizes. Not in the best position to hit that ball. Nasa ilalim ng uh, bola. Trisha Tubu, nine points. That's just her second error. That's how good she can play. And, you know, we talked about her efficiency at yeah. the top of the coverage, 26%. But today, in that first set, it's 47%. Wow. So it, it's a huge turnaround for uh, Tubu so here in this match. So oh, basically, half of what she's hit yes. has become a point. Nabor, Gaston with a push. Delario passes Bertolano, former Lady Fighting Maroon. Aragala oh. diving for it, but to no avail. First point for Alisa Bertolano. She had two seasons with UP before she turned pro. Kyle Taksip. Four. Out to Adorador. Yes! That worked. Just uh, enough amount of, of power to let it land there. Third point for Shaya Adorador. Abi Marano is back. Here's Pauline Gaston. There's Lisa Cruz. Scoring again. Of course, we're looking to see more of those uh, lower sets. Faster plays. He's a cruise now with three points. Two attacks, one block. Abima Rano connects. Marano's second point. And just like that, and we have a lead change. No, not yet. Beg your pardon. Farm Fresh Foxy still up by one. Romero. Bertolano. What a play. More combination plays we are seeing from the side of the Foxies. Let's uh, check in with Lexi Rodriguez. Well, Anne and Eric, that first set was quite slow-paced, but we all know that it was intensely quiet. But more than that, let's expect that Mama P or Mylene Paat will be more vocal than ever on court. Now, Mylene said that they know that they're up against a team that's eager to secure a victory following their loss to Akari last week. But she said that today is a battle of which team possesses greater hunger and desire to win. Now, they're done one set, and they're still trying to get back on track at the start of this set. So let's expect a long night ahead of us. Now, their support is brought to you by the Filipinas Live app, where you can watch the PBL anytime and anywhere in the world. Now, back to you, Anna and Eric. All right, thank you, Lexi. Third point, there is uh, Mama P. They call her Mama P, Mylene Paat. Uh, third point for Abimaraño. 
Crossovers are within one. Bertolano with the pass. Romero sets it up. They go to Chini Arroyo and gets the side out. You know, I like just I like what we're seeing. You know, how quick they are in getting the points back. The Fox is really very aggressive in uh, this match so far. Back to their biggest lead at a measly two points. Uh, that's how close this second set is so far. And Laura, that's dug by Bertolano. Here comes Chini Arroyo once again. And the nice dump. Kyle can sit. Got it. And you mentioned the quickness, and I mean, just a split second faster in reaction time. The Foxies are up by three, their biggest lead in the second set. Arena Plus, a stick to sports. 8-5, Foxy's on top by three. Uh, it was Kyle Taksip who got it, got us to our first technical timeout. Taksip with a nice dump at the net, her second point. And right now, the Foxy's in control so far of the second set. Chini Arroyo has done a marvelous job attacking uh, so has Trisha Tubu. Abi Marano also contributing, coming alive. Uh, three points, two over three coming here in the second set. And you know, these uh, fast and quick reactions really working for the Foxes. Hey, Laure. Yes, hey, Laure. Now it's seven points. You mentioned she's coming off a 13 point performance. on your screens, it's a two-point game. Romero, combination play. Arroyo is blocked. Great save, but not enough for Eliza Bertolano. This is a mini two-point run for the crossovers. And now they are within one. You know, for uh, really experienced players, there's a lot of expectations uh, from the coaching staff in terms of maturity, how you handle yourself. And yun yung question din yun ni Coach Kung Fui. Para kayo right. pinagmamature. So, itong mga deficit na ganito, the expectation is that they can bounce back right. immediately. But speaking of bouncing back, after giving the crossovers a chance to score two straight points, Chini Arroyo, this is what you mentioned earlier, and the, the ability to rise up and get a side out when they need to. And Arroyo has been oh. very steady, as well as uh, their middle, their blockers. Itong si Tagzip. Earning those points when it matters to them. Kailangan nila ng lead. Yep. Uh, Ubu and Tagsip. Good, solid wall right there. Romero, service goes outside, but uh, going back to that Tagsip uh, point, that was her second block of the game. Tagsip now with three. There she is. Could have been a three-point lead, if not for the service fault by Louis Romero. Great pass by Delerio. Trisha Tubu, and just too hot to handle that hit. And Trisha Tubu now with 10 points. Amazing performance we're seeing so far. And such a great angle she went for. As a first line, you know, would have yeah. landed in the attack line. Substitution here for Coach uh, Kung Pureyes says, uh, Zakarandan is in the game for the first time, replacing Colleen Gaston. Back to the biggest lead for the Foxies at three points. Laure. 
Kay Lazo is in the game, the libero for the Foxies. Nabor, back set, they go back to Laure. Good coverage by Lazo. Trisha Tubu, got it! Trisha Tubu, back to back points, 11 already for the former Adamsonian. And you know, also in this match, Romero making the right calls in terms of where he's going to the ball, where he's going to set. This uh, spike of the set brought to you by Duncan, Pasalubong ng Bayan. Biggest lead for the Foxies at four points now. Laure sets it up. And again, Kay Lazo with the pass. This time, Eliza Pertolano. Long. Goes outside, no challenge. Laure with seven, all from attacks. Trisha Tubu off speed, blocked up top. Taksip with coverage. Bertolano. Laure digs. Galang hits and scores. Sherry Eagle keeping it simple. Just uh, basic plays that are efficient. Galang with four. Kate Santiago back in the game. There. Three Adamson players in the, on the floor for the Foxies, Romero, Santiago, and Tubu. They all played together uh, two seasons ago. Oh, my goodness. Look out below. Trish and Tubu with 12 points. You know what a treat to see it live. That spike of the set brought to you by Duncan Pasalubo ng Bayan. You hear the crowd, really. Wowed with, with that uh, hit. 13 serving 10. Taksip. Not a good uh, receive by Duremdes. And that ends up in a chance ball here for the Foxies. What will Rui, Louis Romero do? They go back to Trisha Tubu. Why not? Even Coach Jerry Yi is applauding. And you rarely see him applaud anything. <laughs> but you know, in, in this case, again, Romero. Really delivering good plays, pinaiikot yo. It may be with Tubu, but makikita mo, umiikot sila, no? They, they try to really vary the right. plays. The two Laura sisters are on the floor now as EJ Laura makes her first appearance in the match. 13 points for Trisha Tubu, it's back to a four point lead for the Foxies. Adorador blocked uh, EJ Laure with coverage. Back row, Aya into the net. Now the lead is five points, the biggest for the Foxies. These errors that uh, are being committed by Cherry Tigo really not helping their cause, especially with the Foxies really in momentum here in the second set. Really with the momentum here in the second set. What was it nine errors, right, in the first set it for was nine errors. the crossovers? Much better pass there. Zakaranda. Arroyo chasing it down. Collision between Arroyo and Dubu results in an error for the Foxies, but you love the hustle. Trisha Dubu chasing it down, even with Arroyo there near the ball as well. Everybody really going after the yeah. ball. But in that last two touches, makikita mo, no? Banggaan yung nangyari. With the eagerness to save the ball. So the run stops for the Foxies. Side out, crossovers, but they're down by four. Trisha Dubu. Randang pops it up, but being chased by Laure. Great sacrifice by Aya Laure. Chance ball for the Foxies. And they put it away. Risa Cruz on a running attack. Everyone participating on the side of the Foxies. Lead is back to five for the Foxies. 16 11 against the crossovers, second set.
16-11. Foxy's on top with their biggest lead of the set. Actually, their biggest lead of the entire match. Their biggest lead was three points in the first set, which they won by two points. Right now, it's a more comfortable five-point cushion. And their Foxy's are on the floor. It's taking a while for the crossovers to come back. They're getting uh, some extra instructions, perhaps, from Coach Kung Fu Reyes, looking to bounce back after losing versus the Flying Titans. In the earlier set, we talked about how there are a number of, uh, quite a number of errors, significant number of errors for Cherry Tigo, despite the fact that they have a lot of attack points. But here in this set, I must say, it is really the Foxies earning those points. That's right. And one of the reasons we were talking off the air, as I believe Adorador with a miss hit there, another error, a six-point lead, the biggest now for the Foxies. We're talking about reception. 40, more than 40% for the Foxies as we point that out, a little over 24%, I believe, for the crossovers, Anne. And that spells the difference. That is why the Foxies are able to deliver those plays. Talagang umiikot ang kanilang opensa. Shaya Adorador rising. Good dig coming from Arroyo. Back row, Trisha Tubu. Nabor picking it up. Durendes will set it. Back row, Ea. Kate Santiago passing. Romero running attack. And there it is, that big hole defensively for the crossovers. Riza Cruz with five points. Cruz just really making the most out of that set as well. Hinabo lang, look at this. But uh, still manages to score that point. Five points for Cruz. Time out here for the crossovers. We'll listen in. Dasal dapat ang ginawa nyo, hindi na kayo naglaro ng volleyball. Niluhuran nyo na lahat ng bola na laglag dito. Wala, nasayang naman yung iniinsayin natin na pancake, side slide. Kung di natin i-apply dito, lahat tayo maluhod. Malayo po, two weeks from now yung si Mana Santa para na mag-iinsayin. Kakapitan natin na. Guys, counting five. Bakao. Charmy, five. One more timeout remaining for the crossovers. They are on the business end of a 6-1 run by the Foxies. Which is why they are down by seven points already. Uh, what, do, what do you think um, needs to happen here uh, if the crossovers are to come back? Uh? I think first things first, as we look at the Tubu here with the double digits already, aside from earning points from the errors of, of uh, the Foxies, I think yung nakikita nating problema ngayon ng uh, Cherry Tigo, yung kanilang first ball, as well as uh, what Coach Kung Fu had pointed out, no? palagi silang nababagsaka ng bola at a certain area. And so their defense should adjust as well. Now with the Foxies really heating up, yes. talagang kita natin a lot of uh, plays being delivered, everyone getting into the action. Picar and Paat are back in the game. That save is no good for EJ Lauren as the run continues. It's back to a seven-point lead for the Foxies. They are in full control now of set number two. I think the crossovers also one thing. Ano nangyari sa depensa natin? Right now, it really is a struggle even for Duremdes, who is one of the best That's true. that we have here in, uh, you know, in PBL. Bertolano is back. Santiago will get a rest. Nice serve. Much better pass that time. Complete to them. This might be bad. Nowhere to go. Picar. And there's Riza Cruz with the tip. Bad. Excellent dig. Coming from Lazo. Romero on the back set. Running attack again. It goes outside. Riza Cruz. What a set for her. She has six points. And she is loving it. We've got to give credit also to the solid defense we're seeing from the Foxes. That move brought to you by Honda Motorcycle. It's like the third time, third straight time she's hit the post already. But, uh, you know, the best part, puntos yun. That's right. The final time out here for the crossovers. Oh, hinayaan nyo na galawan ng galawan nyo. Wala tayong pang, wala tayong pang sunod eh. Ulitin natin, ituro nyo na yung mga blocker, ay spiker nyo sa kabila. Para alam natin kung sino gagalaw dito sa kaliwa, sino gagalaw dito sa kanan. Tapos sunod na lang din yung ilalim natin. Tsagayin nyo na lang. Okay, huwag natin intayin na magkamali yung mga yan. Hindi, hindi basta basta nagkakamali. Atake, huwag tsagayin natin sa attack. Tapos coverage, tapos counter ulit. Pag, hanggang sa tumama yung galaw galaw na. Huwag kayo na ulit. 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 Huwag
now or never. No more timeouts remaining for the crossovers. They've got to turn this around. But uh, they're definitely under pressure here. They need eight to tie, while the Foxies only need five to win. So you do the math. What a nice serve, but a better pass as well. Combination play. And there's EJ Howley with her first point of the game. It's return to target the middle area side of the Foxies, no adjustment on the defense right there. Former Rookie of the Year, Season 77 of the UAAP, EJ Laure with a serve. Bertolano with a nice pass. Trisha Tubu, dug by Budin Durendes. Hey, Laure, outside. Right now, crossovers can't make a run, and well, they are challenging for a block touch. But none of the players actually signaled there was. I think Laure actually Laure's signaled, yeah. Sent? Okay. Talking about the uh, Ea Laure here, looking at the bench earlier. Let's see if they can scratch a point off this challenge, because they need every point they can get right now. They're down by seven. If they're unsuccessful, Going to be back down by eight, but the Yaboxis will also be four points closer to the win here in set number two. These red shirts coming off a loss against the, the top teams, Lion Titans, in four sets. You know, looking at uh, them, you see that these are actually very seasoned players That's already. Right. So a lot of expectations, of course, coming from. Uh, uh, coaching staff, but seems like it is clean. No uh, touch here. All right, so no block touch. And set. Coach Kufureyes with no more timeouts remaining and one challenge remaining. And now it's back to an eight point lead for the Foxies. They're going to be just four points away from the win. Good serve. Another bad pass there by Budin Duremdes. And Laura chasing it down. Oh, what a dig. Coming from Bepolano. That one into the net for Gini Arroyo. Now right now, if you're the Foxies, you can exchange points. Doesn't really matter because if it's, you know, a side-out game, crossovers are not going to win. The, the only thing is that they cannot relax. They, they need to maintain this level of play that we've been seeing from them. Hopefully it carries on to the third set as well. Arroyo. That's popped up by EJ Laure. Sakarandang with a push. And Arroyo. Overpassed by Baat. Chini Arroyo tries again. Cut shot, no good. Back-to-back -back errors for Chini Arroyo. Too wide. For Arroyo. And Coach Jerry looking at uh, the scoreboard, figuring not gonna burn a timeout yet. Still up by six. But uh, these ladies need to turn it around right. the soonest. And there you, nope, not yet. That is in off the block. That sip is rejected. So this is a three point run for the crossovers. Substitution for the Foxies as Arroyo will sit down and April Tapia back in. Second appearance in the match. Not a good first ball. Tapia with her first touch. Oh, she got it! With a lot of intensity. And that first attempt. And yung gigil, gusto kong maglaro. And you know, this is a lot of pressure for you know many players who come off the bench. Right. Despite the fact that you are not in the game, you are expected to deliver right away. And Tapia does so. Welcome to the pros, April Tapia. But a side out here for Ea Laure. Nine points now for her. Adorador checking back in along with Jasmine Abor. Still not out of the danger zone yet, the crossovers. Down by five points. Well, meanwhile, Foxy's only three points away from going up two sets to nothing. 
crossovers. They also lost the first two sets against the Flying Titans before winning set number three. Okay, so Tubu, why not? Uh, 14 points now for Tubu, and it is going to be six six point lead right now for the Foxies. Tapia with a serve, a nice one. No, it's just a little too long. Too strong for Tapia. In her first game as a Foxy, Tapia with one point. Good serve. Bertolano keeping it alive. And Delerio with a pass. Running attack, Zakaranda. Yes! Slowly but surely, that is what uh, the crossovers are doing at the moment. Zakaranda uh, now has Zakaranda with three points. Chini Arroyo back in the game. And Tapia will sit down. Top set. Tubu, Redes popping it up. Nabor goes to EJ. Louder. Delerio setting it up for Arroyo. Back row. Got it. Five set points for the Foxies. The Foxies, they've only won one set so far this season. They got it against the Cool Smashers. Today, they're on the verge of winning their third set. Chance ball for the crossovers. And there is a set point save. EJ Lauren. Not yet over, but uh, they have to play flawlessly here in the second set. And Coach Jerry will call his first timeout of the set. They have four set points. We'll listen in. This is a very, very good practice for future. How to get to the match point. This is not so easy. All, all together should concentrate to the one point. Yes! You heard the voice of Master Shimizu during the timeout. One of two consultants, Japanese consultants for the Foxies. Talked about this being a good, you say training, right? Good training good for training. the future, the future. and uh, you know that they need uh, to have a good finish to this. Again, they are on the receiving end. We've seen good plays from the Foxies. They lost one set point. They have four more. Trisha Tubu popped up by Eya Laure. Here's EJ Laure on the attack. And it clips the line. Back-to-back -back points for EJ Laure. And two set points saved by the crossovers. There is a challenge, though. Justin Doro, one of the members of the coaching staff. Former UP lady fighting for role. She played under Coach Jerry, you know? Mm -hmm. It's uh, really nice to see how some players transition into yeah. professionals. Some would go into uh, coaching. coaching right. Some would go join the broadcast. <laughs> Imagine there's so right. many things, there, right? There, I mean, it's, it's you're really, right here. really nice. That's huh? right. So, uh, Foxy's just talking it over. Some puntos na yung kailangan nila, but right. uh, again, they are up against seasoned players as well. There's a Tubu leading the way for this team with 14 points. Six for Cruz and Arroyo. So, a lot of players stepping up. We mentioned only Tubu in double digits in that loss against the Chargers. And they had uh, Cruz only with five points, or four points actually, in that game. While Chini Arroyo, nine points. So everybody just stepping up. 
but I guess more than just the scoring department or the scoring skills, what we've seen them demonstrate in this match would really be solid defense in, in the back row. Some snippets of that, some some we've seen some at the net, but mostly on the floor. And how scrappy they are. That was looked in. You see the reaction. I was <laughs> Again, they are one point away from closing this set. They are on the receiving end. They have good material right there in front. Pero hindi ito bibigay ng ganyan ganyan lang ng crossovers. So three set points saved by the red shirts. There are three more to go. Bertolano is blocked. Oh! Four set points now saved by the crossovers. And only two set points remain and for the Foxies. We did say the cross, the Cherry Tigo crossovers need to play flawlessly. No errors, no mistakes. And there it is, finally. The delivery of the winning point. Lisa Cruz with seven. They may have given up four set points, but they finish it off on the second to the last one. Lisa Cruz, they needed that point. They changed the offense up a little bit. This is uh, one of the highlights of set number two, Ed. It's a very good showing on the side of the Foxies. We did mention that uh, throughout, sabi natin, no, defensa, offensa, they were there. The crossovers, on the other hand, slowed down a bit here in the second set, but uh, nonetheless, nakahabol, no, nung nakaipapano sa bandang huli. Uh, Foxies up two sets to nothing against the crossovers. Two-point win in the opening set, a three-point win in the second set. Foxy's up two sets to nothing against the crossovers. Cherry right now, they find themselves in the same situation they were in, in that four-set loss against the Flying Titans, where they won the third set. But uh, we look at highlights of set number two. Eight points, the biggest lead for the Foxy's and against the crossovers, who never led in the second set. 
It was a struggle for uh, the crossovers in that second set. Kita natin, it was a bit of slower momentum on their side. Meanwhile, the Foxies clearly si pinag-usapan natin dito who wants it more. Ano? And you know, the, the body language that we saw from them earlier really showed how much they wanted it as we look at the stats for set number two. 18 attack points, 11 only ang naproduce ng uh, Cherry Tigo. Halos pantay lang yung blocking, no? Aces was there also. Yung uh, points pa ng Cherry Tigo, yung iba dyan nakuha nila from the errors, no? Of uh, Farm Fresh. But uh, I think ultimately, Coming into the third set, they need to start uh, faster. They need to be more aggressive, knowing that itong, uh, knowing what the, the Foxies can do. Despite losing by three points here in set number two, they you can say they finished somewhat strong. They uh, erased four set points, but they still fell. But I mean, if they can take that whatever, if you can call it momentum, a little bit of that, uh, to start the uh, third set, maybe they, they've got something to work with. Because it, it was a better uh, way to play, you know, at that latter part of the set. But I must say, it was a little bit too late, knowing that set point na yung uh, uh, Foxes just uh, goes to show also, no, hindi pwedeng uh, mag-relax. They need to be able to dictate the pace of the game. Actually, what was expected given that they're more seasoned, this yeah. lineup, ano, the dictating the pace of the game, they, 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 it would be them. That's right. Well, let's see. Uh, third set underway. Romero running attack, Tagsip, overpassed by Nabor. Romero tries again. This time they go to Tubu with 14 points and she keeps finding these holes in the middle of the defense of the crossovers. 15 points now for Trisha Tubu. And you know, she makes it look so simple. Of course, it's easier said than done, but uh, Tubu really very efficient with offense in today's match. Foxy's on the board first here in set number three, Chini Arroyo. Serve could have been outside. That was picked up by Nierva. Chance ball here for the Foxy's. Great pass. I go to the middle, Tagsip, and another hole in the middle. Back-to-back uh, -back points in the same spot for the Foxy's. You know, that's been... Uh, called out by uh, Coach Kung Fu earlier that paulit-ulit doon naglaland ang bola. And, uh, you know, for the Foxies, ginawa nila yung homework nila, no? Inuulit lang nila kung ano yung nag-work earlier. 2-0 start for Chini Arroyo and the Foxies. Nabor. There you go to Mylene Paat. Uh, she's had a quiet evening so far. Five points for Paat. That was a very good attack from uh, Paat. Mylene is coming off a 10-point performance, her third game in double digits. But that was a loss, as we mentioned, against the Flying Titans. EJ Laure with a nice serve, but a better pass from Chini Arroyo. Nabor with the dig. Duremde sets it up. Uh, go back row, EJ Laure. There's Tubu. EJ Laure pops it up. Here's Eya Laure into the net. Ea Laure, nine points, flirting with a double-digit performance again. We mentioned 13 points for her in their last game. But they are, both teams actually coming off a loss. But a win here by the Foxies will tie them in the standings with the crossovers. Oh, nice soft hit there for Abby Marano, her fifth point. Now her turn to target those open areas. Unmanned spots on the other side. You know, she's making it look so simple. Yeah. One point game. Cruz with a tip. Nabor with a pickup. Mylene Paat. Pancake save is good for Delerio. Bertolano. Maragno with a dig. Eya Laure rising. Bertolano again digging it up. Romero to Tubu. Rejected. Coverage by Arroyo. They go back to Bertolano. Paat from the middle. Yes, the game is tied at three. Paat with back-to-back -back points. Just when we thought Paat, quiet evening, she starts to come alive here in set number three. Sir, 
poor first ball for uh, the Foxies. First chance ball, third set for the crossovers. Mylene Pa, three straight points, and we have a lead change. As the crossovers on top by one, let's check in with Lexi Rodriguez. Well, Anne and Eric, earlier we talked about how Trisha Tubu has been one of the most consistent scorers for the Farm Fresh Foxies. And tonight, she will and she sure has done it again. But you know, how does she do it? I asked her how she balances everything, especially that she's still in her last studying year and is juggling both trainings and her OJT. And Trisha said, hindi niya rin alam. She just shows up where she needs to be and tries to deliver in the best way she can. And so far, she's fulfilling this mantra of hers as they're up two sets and she's got the digits as of the second set now this report is brought to you by the Filipinas live app where you can watch a PVL anytime and anywhere in the world now back to you Anna and Eric all right thanks Lexi left-handed shot there from Bertolano and hey Laura drills that one in now, crossovers back on top by one and Laura now hey Laura now in double digits with 10 very convincing points earned here by the crossovers. Oh. So back to back service faults. One from Maraño, now from Paat. Crossovers can't pull away, and You know, there's no problem in terms of offense. Yeah. It is that the service line, as, as you pointed out. But, uh, you know, here in the third set, sabing natin, they need to be able to dictate the pace. Running attack, Zakarandang, Trisha Tubu with the dig. Chini Arroyo, got it. Chini Arroyo, now it's seven. She's had a good game oh, yeah. so far. That was uh, right in between the two blockers. Foxies retake the lead. They're up by one. Oh, hey, Laura answers right back. It's a side out game. You know, she means business. Yeah. 11 points now for Ea Laura. Six all, set three. Must win situation for the crossovers. Back row, Trisha Dubu. What a dig there for Mylene Paat. EJ misses. Not the best contact. So, oh, the Farm Fresh Foxies back on top by one. 7 6. Lisa Cruz, what a performance. Six attacks, one block, seven in total. Nabor to Zakarandang, picked up by Bertolano. Arroyo. Oh! She needs Arroyo with back-to-back -back points. And uh, she has eight already. And that takes us to our first technical timeout. Foxy's up by two against the crossovers, set number three. Arena Plus, Astiques of Sports. Foxy's up by two. Chini Arroyo getting the last two points of the Foxy's. Uh, she now has eight a point away from her output in that loss against the Chargers, where she put up nine points. Risa Cruz also playing a great game today. She has seven after putting up only four in that three-set loss. Good serve, bad receive. And here we go, biggest lead for the Foxies at three points. 
totally unexpected from the uh, side of the crossovers. But you know, earlier we were talking about it off air, no? how uh, these ladies, the, the, the foxies, on the younger spectrum, kumbaga yes. mga bata pa to and so much more experience right. to gain. Oh. And yet, Arroyo, nine points. Seeing such a great fight from uh, these ladies. Arroyo matches her output in their last game. Four to nothing run for the Foxy's timeout for Coach Kung Fu Reyes. Arroyo sa atin, wala tayong tapat na maayos. Tapatan nyo na maayos. Lahat ng bola na dumidiretso na sa side. Kasi nga wala tayong black na maayos. Suporta ang ilalim. Tapos identify yung outside yung inside. Huwag alam ba sa doon, di ba ikaw nakasweep? Hindi na mo ang bola outside, i-guide niyo yung kasama natin. Ah, para mas madali. Deflect, kung hindi kaya yung i-block ng block point, ipabagalin niyo yung atake ng mabila. Okay, tara ka rin! Hard work pa, Jerry! Alright, they want to focus on trying to stop the Chini Arroyo, who has scored the last three points of the Foxies. Give them their biggest lead here in set number three at four points. Cruz has assisted, helped in all departments. She has blocked, she has scored, she has served an ace as well. Taksip with a push, Nierva can't dig it, and the run continues for the Foxies. You know, for the Foxies also, no, good to note, Bertolano has been doing an excellent yeah. job passing and digging. Lidas now five for the Foxies. Cesc Robles uh, back in the game, her second appearance today. As Coach Reyes looking for a spark here. Down to the final two seconds of a serve for Riza Cruz who sends it outside. And if you're the crossovers, probably a sigh of relief right there. They get a point. Zakarandang. Good pass. Taksip on the attack. Popped up by Nabor. So Karandang will play setter. Paat, back row. Arroyo. Got it. Chini Arroyo now in double digits. Her second game in double digits for the Foxies. Very good efficiency for Arroyo. Ten points for the former Lady Bulldog. And the lead is now five again. Now a miss hit there, make it a six point lead for the Foxies. Robles with an attack ball. Well, I think uh, they need to regroup themselves yeah. at this point. Again, we are on the third set already and uh, you know, this deficit and the, the, the pace as well is being dictated by uh, the Foxies. Nabor out, Bikar in. There is Robles. Bouncing back from the error earlier, and Robles is on the board for the first time today. Her first point. Nina Bikar, the former Tigress, serving. Romero, Anto Arroyo. There's a nice block by Robles. So Robles being that spark, scoring the last two points for the crossovers. And this is probably what they need at this point. Look at that block. It's a four-point game. A little two-point run for the crossovers. A nice dig coming from Robles. Spot attacking. Delerio popping it up. Romero to Tubu, Tubu block, it goes outside, side out, Foxies. You know, despite this lead from the Foxies, what we are seeing and what we are feeling with uh, the crossovers, nakikita natin, oh, really, uh, the blocks are right there. So they're challenging the uh, offense of uh, the Foxies. Miguel Defonso seeing action for the first time today. She scored a point off the bench. And their loss against the Chargers. Arroyo already with 10. 
Robles from the middle, down by Arroyo. She's doing everything here. El Defonso, yes, first touch, first point. Gotta love the energy. Yeah. Everybody's chipping in, right? Everyone getting into the action. Even those off the bench. Lead us back to its biggest for the Foxies at six points. Not a good first ball. Nierma will set. Paat against two blockers. What a dig for Kay Lazo. A little too close to the net. Lazo will set it up for Ildefonso. Off speed picked up by Maraño. Uh, back row hit for Laure. Ildefonso popping it up. Trishitubu with a push. Save by Laure. And that hit is off the mark for Cesc Robles. And the lead is seven points for the Foxy. Second technical timeout, set number three. Arena Plus, Astixa Sports. Farm Fresh Foxies with their biggest lead here in set number three. They're up by seven. Uh, Jen Yerba and the crossovers right now are reeling. They are unable to figure out how to stop the offense of the Foxies. There's no problem for them to score, but it's the offense of these ladies, the white shirts, that are just unpredictable. They're all, all game long. And, uh, you know, we, we've mentioned it over and over how everyone is getting into the action. Lahat, even those coming off the bench, really getting their chance to score. And I guess apart from the scoring skills, we also did mention off air you know, how they've been showing a scrappy defense there yeah. at the floor. And the, the passing really uh, making it a lot easier for Romero That's as well. Right. Dal talagang na deliver sa kanya. Eh. And Coach Kung Fures uh, making another adjustment. Uh, Seth Rodriguez in the game for the first time. There's a pass by Nierva. Underhand set. Ooh. Uh, that, yeah, that didn't cross the antenna. It was on this side already. The side of the Foxy. So Paat. Unable to get the point, get it over the net properly. Sadly, just, you know, nothing going their way. We're talking about uh, Cherry Tigo. Yeah. It seemed like a good pass from Nierva initially, but it's just a struggle to set for Bicar. Here's Bicar with a set. They go to Robles. Robles finds the hole. Robles off the bench, uh, doing good for the crossovers. But it can't be just her right now. Everybody needs to get into the action as well. Pat had a good start, but I think first things first, it's really the passing. No? That, that's. That is what is missing. Kaya nahihirapan din to uh, really maximize the plays. Nice save by Ea Laure. Chance ball here for the Foxies. They go to Ildefonso. Gurindo Rendes. Picar. Paat. Block. It goes outside. A little two-point run here for the crossovers. Paat now with eight. Robles with three points. Romero go to Tubu from the middle. Puding Grandes with a dig. Chance ball for the Foxies. Taksip. Rodriguez popping it up. Ea. Block. Oh, oh, terrific defense. Trisha Tubu now with her first block point and her 17th point overall. 
that was a solid block. That stops the two-point run at the crossovers. Lead is seven for Taksip and the Foxies. Oh, that serve is long. The first service fall for Taksip. So Seth Rodriguez skipped her final year with the Lady Warriors to turn pro. Lisa Cruz got it. It would be interesting to see the efficiency in terms of attacks of the Foxies in today's game. And uh, help defensively was late for Zakara Dang. As a double substitution is made here by Coach Jerry Yi. Caitlin Garay seeing action for the first time along with Ange Legacion, who did not play against the Chargers. Now, this is just her third game with the Foxies. She played for actually Jerry before and also for PLDT. And wait a minute. The horn blew from the technical committee. I think they need to sort out the uh, rotation. rotation. Or the Foxies. Uh, first referee, uh, Patrick Castillo, still trying to find out what the buzzer was for. Coach Jerry trying to warm up. It's a little nippy inside the Phil Oil Echo Oil uh, Center. The red shirts from Cherry down two cents to nothing. This is the way they started as well against the Flying Titans. They lost the first two before winning the third set 25-20. But right now, they are in a bad position, down by seven points late in the third set. Meanwhile, the uh, Foxies, they've only won one set so far. And that was against the Cool Smashers in their very first game. And they lost back-to-back -back three setters. But they've won two sets already here. And they're looking to sweep the crossover. Second referee, Fernando Velarde, now walks over to the technical committee to figure out what went wrong. There he is, leading over. Suspense. Yeah. <laughs> As we await the reason for uh, this pause. Well, I'm sure the crossover is hoping it's a point for them. Yes, because it, it was. I yeah. mean, it landed there right before. We had to put this on hold. All right. I, from what we hear, they're going to replay the point. Yep, they will replay the point. There is the signal from first referee Patrick Castillo. Was that an inadvertent buzzer? That we don't know. <laughs> but uh, sayang, siguro sabi ng Cherry Tigo, sayang. <laughs> Nagland na yung bola. <laughs> Former Lady Chief, Hans Legacion with the serve. Good pass from Yerba. Karandang. Overpassed by Chini Arroyo. Chance ball here for the crossovers. Karandang off speed. Easy pickup for Ildefonso. Legashon sets it up. They go to Viray. Her first touch. There's, they're saying there's a touch. There's Patrick nine. Castillo will not oh, call yeah. it. So a challenge for Coach Jerry Yi. Um, Viray seems so sure. She, she did call a touch. Yeah. So there's the card being raised by assistant coach Justin Doro. So another pause. Some time to again regroup themselves. That is for uh, the crossovers for the Foxies. Just, I guess, talk it out. Paano nila mamimintin itong kanilang lead? It is such a comfortable lead. But if, you, if you're the Foxies, you're obviously, you know, these, these pauses, these breaks are not helping. 
It is not because yeah. you're slowing down your exactly. momentum. Okay, na yung bilis na ng lahat eh. You see, <laughs> you see them trying to stay warm, stay hot. Because you, you don't want to lose that uh, juice, that energy, that adrenaline. Because as, as comfortable as a lead this is, seven points, they're still six points away from the win. So if the crossovers make a run, they can find themselves in a bit of trouble down the stretch. And I guess this is where and when we always see, you know, in the third set, if you're up two sets to none yeah. versus the opponent, sometimes you have that tendency Relax. Kind of relax, right? Especially in this situation wherein they have such a comfortable lead. It becomes too comfortable that so, yeah. you kind of slow down. All right, here's the hit by Girai. There, it doesn't seem to be a touch there on former teammate Aya Laure. So officially, it is a no. Unsuccessful challenge for Coach Jerry. One more challenge left for Coach Yi. And it's a six-point game. Mylene Paat serving. Romero finds Birai. And Birai will score. That's right. Spike of the set brought to you by Duncan Pasalubong ng Bayan. Katie Birai. Their first point of the game. Their first points since that match against Capital One. That's popped up by Ildefonso. They got shown all the way out to Arroyo. That's a block. Good save. One handed save by Robles. I mean, bad. Good exchange here. Wait a minute. There is a net touch. And going to be called. Against the Foxies. I think it was. Uh, is it Arroyo? Arroyo. <laughs> Six point game. 20 14. Laura in double digits already. But she is the only player in double digits so far for the crossovers. Robles with a push turned away. Zakarandang got it. No blockers for Karandang. Much, much needed point. That hopefully turns things around for the ladies in red. Mini two-point run for the crossovers. Karandang with her fourth point of the game. Not a good first ball there. Arroyo from way out. And Karandang again. And popped up by Delerio. Pirai. Good dig. Keeping it alive for Paat. Back row for Eyalare. Got a little help from the net. Arroyo, a little too close to the net. That push all the way out to the back. Dug by Eyalare. Here comes Robles. Delerio popping it up. A good, exciting rally. Pirai with a tip and the score. Second point for Pirai. Pirai reading the defense very well, seeing there is no coverage behind the blockers. Great decision by Coach Jerry and to put in Caitlin Birai. Definitely. And you know, that last point wasn't even a forceful drop. It was a, you know, a soft one. Just behind the blockers. Six-point lead for Cruz and the Foxies. Great pass. A little one-two play there. Easily read by Cruz. Birai again. And Birai back-to-back -back points. The lead is back to seven for the Foxies. Really good energy that we're feeling, that we're seeing from the Foxies. Everyone getting into the action. Substitution. As you see the celebration by the Foxies, EJ Laure returns, replacing Cesc Robles. No more timeouts, I believe, remaining for the crossovers. Not a good first ball there. EJ Laure. Yes! Perfect entry for EJ. Now it delivers right away. That's going to be point number four for EJ Lauren. But uh, this is going to be some kind of run for the crossovers. As the Foxies are three points away from winning the match. 
A push by Arroyo. Slip through the fingers of Seth Rodriguez. A back row push for Aya. Arroyo again. Oh, yes, got it. GD Arroyo now with 11. Arroyo just hurting the crossovers in every possible way. And more trouble coming for the crossovers as Trisha Tumbo returns to the game along with Louis Romero. And they only need two points to win it. You know, what's evident in the, the game that we are seeing from the Foxies, yung teamwork is right there. It's because we, we keep saying this no, throughout. Everyone is getting into the action. Back row, front row, you see the contribution of each one. Lazo with a nice dig. Trisha Dubu connects, and there you go, ladies and gentlemen. This is eight match points for the Foxies. Trisha Dubu with 18 points in the game. Impressive performance from Dubu. Romero with a serve. Underhand pass. That's the reception has been an issue. And that hit outside. That's been the story of the crossovers from one error to the next. And the Foxies already celebrating. There is a challenge still. Is this going to be a block touch challenge? They got too excited. It could be. It could be a block uh, block touch. Excited eh? yeah. One point na lang. And remember, pinag-uusapan natin dito, sino bang mas gustong manalo? And, you know, this team really wanting to bounce back. Both teams coming off a loss, so there is a block touch challenge we'll, we're going to see. Although, it looks on their faces, I you know, it's not a confident look about the block touch. And the people, some of the well, fans here starting to head out. This is way off above the hands of the blockers and the celebration will resume yes <laughs> for the foxies as uh, coach jenny Yi will get a win after losing against akari their second win of the game they are gonna climb up to two and two in the standings the foxies as they drag the crossovers to two and two as well back-to-back -back losses for the crossovers and this one, more painful, is a three-set loss against the young upstarts from Farm Fresh. We uh, did expect it yeah. was going to be a tough match today, but, uh, you know, again, I think it's the overall attitude, it's the overall game and teamwork that we've seen from the Foxies that really impressed a lot of the fans today. Yung mga hugot from the bench, lahat yeah. sila may contribution. And I think, apart from the scoring skills, again, we got to give credit to the back row defense and passing That's right. of the Foxies. Two players in double digits led by Trisha Tubu, 18, Arroyo with 11. Cruz, special mention, nine points, a point away from a double-double. Meantime, we mentioned a crossovers, three players in double digits in their last game against the Flying Titans. Only one player scoring in double digits. That's Eelare with 11. Aragalang unable to put up double digits. Mylene Paat coming up short as well as you look at highlights of the match. Oh, and uh, again, uh, a lot of the players getting into the action, really challenging the defense of the crossovers. Very high efficiency. Pinag-usapan natin yan kanina, yung efficiency when it comes to attacks. There's the official score. Three-set win. Farm Fresh Foxies take out the Cherry Tigo crossovers in a sweep.
Foxy's two-point win in the first set, three-point win in the second set, biggest margin in the third set, winning by nine points in a sweep over the crossovers, and It kept getting better and yeah. better for the Foxies. Really uh, pure dominance as well when it came to uh, their offense. Pinag-usapan natin to kanina. Even their floor defense right. was really, really impressive, allowing them to deliver all of those plays. But ultimately, it's that confidence no, that, uh, that we've seen throughout from the first set all the way up to the third set. Two players in double digits. Top scorer, 18 points. Trisha Tubu right now with Lexi Rodriguez. Lexi? Thanks, Eric. And Anne, well, I'm with the best player of the game, none other than Trisha Tuvu with 18 points, 17 attacks, and one block. Trisha, gusto kong tanungin sa'yo, anong klaseng, anong gano kahalaga itong panalo na to sa'yo at sa team mo, lalo na you guys are coming off from a three-set loss and now nabawi nyo in a three-set sweep. Ayun po, sobrang uh, important po ng game na to kasi yun nga po yung susunod na yung mga kalaban is yung Petrogas na which, which is sobrang lakas din na ito yung uh, magiging uh, motivation namin para sa next game namin. Now, sa Farm Fresh Foxies, you're one of the most consistent players in terms of scoring, in terms of attacking. Paano mo continuously na motivate yung sarili mo to do good and you know, uh, to strive for excellence? Ah, uh, yun po. Uh, yung mga coaches ko po kasi sobrang patience din sa akin kasi minsan na uh, dadawan ako pag nagkaka-error sa ako pero lagi nilang nire-remind sa akin na uh, okay lang magka-error basta babawi. Well, congratulations to you. Meron ka bang mga gustong batiin, pamilya, mga kaibigan? Yes po, uh, binabati ko po yung father ko na nasa bahay ngayon. Hello and sa mama ko po na nasa store po. Uh, tsaka sa, pa, uh, sa internship ko po, hello, hello po kina uh, Ma'am Kisha. Tsaka yun po, shoutout po sa mga fans. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Trisha. Congratulations ulit at sa'yo at sa mga Farm Fresh Foxies. I'll turn it back to you, Eric and Anne, to wrap this game up. All right, thank you, Lexi. Congratulations, Trisha Tubu. Second highest output. Uh, she had 19 earlier on in the conference, but 18 today. What a performance for her. Definitely, sabi nga natin, ano, yung kanyang efficiency in this match uh, is unmatched, I think, no? from at least what we have yeah. seen. And, uh, you know, but it's not just her, no? It was uh, total teamwork from everyone. Some may have lower points produced, pero ang masasabi natin, yung contribution ng bawat isa sa scoring at non-scoring, talagang naramdaman natin. In the meantime, for the crossovers, it was just an off night for them. Yeah, struggle in practically every aspect of the game. And I think even they didn't expect that it would turn out this way yung uh, they, they were silenced actually you know in, in, in this match but again uh, a lot of learnings to take with them and I'm pretty sure this will help fuel them as well na bumawi sa susunod nilang laro key players uh, unable to put up the kind of numbers fans expect from the crossovers again only Eya Laure in double digits meanwhile Trisha Tubu one of two players in double digits Arroyo as well in double digits as you look at the numbers after the three set win by the Foxies Farm Fresh uh, Foxies, 48 attack points as opposed to only 40 ng Cherry Tigo. Halos pantay lang pagating sa blocking, but we've seen a few service aces. Pero pagating dito sa errors, ano, nakita natin to early on, uh, a lot of giveaway points. 20 giveaways for uh, from Cherry Tigo to Farm Fresh. 60 naman ang uh, na italang error nitong uh, Foxies. A terrific uh, close to the triple header right here at the Phil Oil Echo Oil Center. Our game's on uh, Tuesday. We're going to be at the Phil Sports Arena. We're going to transfer to Pasig City. Cool Smashers taking on SGA Strong Group Athletics at 4 p.m. And then the Galleries Tower High Risers, 6 p.m. against the next led Chameleons. That's a double header Tuesday. Do not forget uh, right here in the All Filipino Conference of the PBL. Trisha Tubu leading the way for the Foxies as they give Coach Kung Kureyas his second straight loss of the All Filipino Conference. They are both tied at two and two in the standings. Thanks to our director Marvin Chavez for Alexi Rodriguez, uh, my partner Andre Mulyakanda. I'm Eric Dipan. Thanks for watching our coverage, All Filipino Conference PVL, right here on Pilipinas Live.